The Sapien Root Remover System is the extraction method of choice for removing a root at or below the alveolar bone level. Extraction with this method helps minimize tissue trauma and facilitates the placement of dental implants. This posterior root has broken at the alveolar level, making an extraction with forceps almost impossible. This video demonstrates how an extraction can be performed easily and quickly. The first step in the procedure is to mobilize the root by breaking the periodontal ligaments through the use of a periotome. Further mobilization is achieved by luxating with elevators to facilitate the extraction process. A pilot hole should be drilled to facilitate the extraction screw placement. Here is a number 557 surgical burr on a high-speed handpiece. The pilot hole reduces the risk that the extraction screw will cause the root to split during the procedure. The pilot hole should be prepared to a depth of 4 to 6 millimeters in a longitudinal direction with the root. As an alternative, a 33 millimeter pilot drill with a slow speed latch handpiece can be used. Although preparation of a pilot hole is always recommended, it may be unnecessary if the root canal is large and already apparent. Consult the written directions on proper extraction screw selection, then insert the extraction screw in the appropriate driver. For posterior roots, the manual latch head driver is recommended. The extraction screws have a small flat surface that will engage the drill upon proper insertion. Open the latch and slowly rotate the screw until it engages with the drill. When you feel the screw engage, close the latch and pull gently on the screw to confirm that it is securely placed. Insert the screw tip into the pilot hole and apply apical pressure. Rotate the knob on the driver clockwise with one hand until the extraction screw is snug. The screw should engage at least three to four thread lengths to ensure a secure placement. Care should be exercised to avoid excessive force while inserting the screw, as the root could split. The fulcrum tray serves to provide as a base for extraction leverage and to prevent damage to existing structures. Its design allows it to be placed in a variety of positions, allowing for maximum leverage force. Once the fulcrum tray is placed, position the pry bar. It is important to place the ball of the screw in the cradle between the prongs of the pry bar. This will keep the lifting force completely vertical as opposed to angular. It is also very important to be sure that the pry bar is aligned in the mesial distal direction with the applied pressure of the pry bar and the fulcrum tray directly over the strongest adjacent tooth. Apply firm but gentle pressure to lift the root from the socket. Polyvinyl siloxane material can be used as supplemental support if needed. To remove the extraction screw from the extracted root, use the finger driver included with the kit. Insert the screw and rotate it until the driver and screw engage. Then rotate the driver counterclockwise until the screw is removed.